Okay, hello, welcome to the channel. My name is Vervango Green, and today I got you a Tekken 8 video. I will be making a beginner's guide for the new players and two, 2D players uh, transitioning into uh, Tekken 8. Um, I've been playing Tekken 7 faithfully since the first day it came out, but that wasn't my introduction to 3D games. But I thought um, instead of just trying to be sweaty on rank, you know, and just do the traditional thing a lot of people like to do, I want to try to at least make a beginner's guide and help out some new people, especially people I know. I'm trying to get you guys to Tekken and make this game way bigger than it is. You feel me? I love Tekken. And yeah, man. Um, I'm going to give you guys, try to be quick with this, uh, try to not make it too long, but give you guys an idea what you guys need to do, show you the basics, and then... Uh, give you examples of uh stuff you'd use in like matches and all that but uh just to start out um the first thing i want to show you is pretty much offense in this game the way how it will work uh, a lot of fighting games are different but let me just turn my command history wait oh there we go it's just so small because it used to be on top but all right, um, as you can see on my command right there on the side, this is going to be a four button fighter. You uh, traditional um, fighting games usually aren't always four uh, button fighters, usually like three, like um, virtual fighter got the punch kick and then they got the block. But uh, Tekken is a little bit different. We have a left punch, a right punch left kick and a right kick and to translate that on different controllers so playstation x is your left kick circle is your right kick square is your left punch and triangle is your right punch and then for xbox a is your left kick b is your right kick x for your left punch and Y is for Y is for your right punch. Okay, just getting that little basic down. That's how you uh, basically do defense. And if you want to learn uh, different type of moves with your characters, uh, whenever you pick a character, always go to the move list and make sure you hit RB to all techniques and scroll down. And this will be all your different moves, including normals, rage rage moves and uh your heat moves okay next thing i want to talk about is defense how defense works in this game uh just to make this a little bit more simpler you could just show this so pretty much uh defense in tekken is basically a neutral block is an automatic block string for mids in high attacks but in certain cases um some characters will have guard breaks so i advise you just hold back because it'd just be easier just to punish so let's say uh if i just do that it'd be like that but imagine you don't hit your punish right oh i didn't know that was gonna hit hold on all right so Hold back, because if you're pretty good at the game, you should be able to do this and let go. But I say do this and hold back just in case. Because they can always be plus on certain moves. Or like I said, if you don't know to punish, just hold back. But as soon as you get like more, more used to the game and more confident, then you could just, you know, hold down, hold down, block, and then do your little punish. And then, for example, for low attacks, the way how you will block low attacks is you can do a crouch animation, but certain moves that will hit you on low, you'll need to hold down back. So you could just hold down like that, but you'll still get chipped. So my advice is when you block lows, hold, hold down back so it's easier just to hold back. So... This is what we call turtling, pretty much. 
So turtling, it's like you start from crouch and you just do like that. You see how um, I can just do like that and it automatically blocks. For these strings, uh, you don't have to hold block. But like I said, some strings will be oppressive and will force you to block because it will force out that neutral. And you do that to punish. So pretty much you will have different type of moves uh, with the new mechanic called heat. Pretty much the simple action of activating heat will be RB. Well, not RB, but I have changed minds. Usually it's RB or R1. I changed mine to R2, RB, uh, RT. So that's where they put the rage button. But you could do a simple activation like that with that just to activate heat. Or if you're on RK stick, you can hit three plus two together and then you get this heat activation. So this isn't the only way to activate heat, but a cool little thing we call are called heat engagers. Uh, every character has a few of these. Uh, for example, Kazuya is his quick, his quick heat attack. There's different type of classes of heat attacks. This is his quickest heat attack uh, that will activate heat. And then you have heat moves, uh, heat engagers where they can like target for sidestepping opponents. That's a uh, Kazuya's back four. And that usually charge you up like that and you dash up. Uh, another one, Kazuya has a mid as the heat engager. Activate those in your heat. Um, something that while you're in heat that I can talk about, uh, for example, let's say you activate your heat and you want to keep the pressure going for a combo so the usual moves you do that usually like do a uh like a combo or some like or like a heat engager somewhat you can use that and cancel into uh what they call a heat dash so just read my uh input so if you do down four one two a kazuya and just hold forward you'll do a dash and he and while they're doing that flip animation, you're able to get a combo out of that. So that's a, a technique they have for heat. So you can pressure them, come up for that, and then do a combo. I'll do it one more time for you. Of course, they don't want me to do it. Wait, what the fuck? Oh my god, what the fuck? You get something like that with the little heat dash. Uh, another thing you can do while you're activating heat. So, for example, you do your heat engager. Every character is going to have different type of uh, extra moves they have. So, for example, Kazuya, he gets this move in his heat state. And then he has the different moves in the heat state basically evolves with other moves he has so that's like it's an extra little thing he even has like the laser flying laser he can't do that uh while he's in his normal form he even has with his health sweep uh his health sweep gets an extra hit just like in how tekken 7 when he was uh devil devil kazuya he gets that in his heat so that isn't locked to like a rage state um what else what else oh yeah so he has like three different little things so he can just do that hold hold that so whenever he does his heat just hold that for uh some characters they get like for example Ozzy Senna gets like extra little setup so if she gets like a back one one she can try to dash you and get like a combo or she can dash at you and then hit you with this uh this back handstand type move and then like get a combo out of it so every character gets like different uh type of moves when they activate their heat uh, and then the final thing about heat, uh, every character gets his special move. So this uh, pretty much whatever you have it uh, put to is going to be R RT, RB. But on RK stick for my example, I'll show you. I just hit RB just to show you. Oh, I switched it. So for my case, it's a different button, but it's going to be RB automatically default, whatever button you do. And then RK stick is just going to be the same button that you use to activate heat. Uh, my advice with heat, with these type of uh, tools, use use the heat smash on raw because the damage scaling is uh, nerfed 
when you activate it with combos. So uh, if I can do a quick combo, I'll just show you. Sixty-five. About the same damage, I guess. Which is weird. Get that. Yeah, you can't get that. Maybe you can get more damage, but overall, it nerfs wall wall combos too, especially. Because the scaling, it's pretty much the same scaling, but it definitely doesn't give you more damage. That's a good example. Alright, so... You see how I'm on the ground right there? There's going to be different techniques to get up. I just want to show you the most basic ones. Um, that'll help you out when you're trying to learn against opponents and getting up. So, for one, what you can do is tap up and that basically helps you just stand up so if you're on the ground like for example oh actually i could just do that i forgot i can just do that so if you're on the ground you can tap up and that automatically makes you stand so like that you want to do a quick stand or if you want to back up you can back up too just tap back but the best one to do is just stand because you can to stand and then block but if you try to get up while doing that you're more vulnerable to get clipped by like a mid or something or a running move um to do tech rolls the side left or right to tech roll towards the screen will be your one it's going to be x or square on the playstation controller the way how you want to roll uh to the other side towards you you're gonna do the same button x and square but you tap down so up oops up or down so but you have to hit at the same time like a quick tap like tap tap Oop. tap like that another way to get up is to do both the kick buttons to do a spring kick this is going to be basically a jump up where you feel like your opponent is just going to dash at you and mash. You can use that to hit them on the ground like that. And they stand up, they'll get hit. So, two of the uh, kick buttons. Uh, two of the most universal uh, get ups that they actually nerfed in this game is going to be three and four. That's going to be A and B. So, A is going to be your typical low get up kick that if they want to run up and you just want to check them on their foot you can just do that another one is going to be your typical get up kick off a high is going to be b or a uh, circle it's going to be this kick right here b or circle the right kick that's how you get up just all you do is just tap tap that so when you want to do a low kick just tap x or a I mean, uh, A or, uh, yeah, A or X. And then if you want to do a get up kick like this, you can do that. Just a fair warning, the little low get up kicks compared to the last game used to knock down counter hit for a combo. They got rid of that. So don't get too used to using the low kick, but I say the high kick is more advisable. Even if they block it, I think they do get a punish, but it's less punishable compared to the to the low kick and then another technique um that is also a low is called a safe get up kick is basically all you do is tap down and you tap x or a your uh, third your uh, second kick your left kick and it does this this is basically if they run up on you and you don't want to like get the pressure on and they like you know try to like get okie off the ground you can do that safe get up kick to do that that will basically give them a stun effect that stops them real quick and then that's a good technique to use when you're at the wall too so you can get your spacing in so if you did that and you get your spacing in, you can like for like a range move like kazuya it's like four four two uh this is like one of my favorite ones but be careful because that is negative so only use it when you know they're gonna like 
mash and dash at you because uh, if they block it i think they get a launch now so a lot of uh get up techniques are like kind of nerfed but they were really strong in the last game so they're still going to be viable especially uh this get up kick and then this one these are probably your two best ones uh with the sides with the side uh side rolls whatever character you're playing is all going to depend on which way you want to roll so as a Senna, she is weak on her sidestep right so if i get knocked down on the combo by azacena i'm gonna roll to my right because if she try to clip like a move like her one one i can just get like a down four or two or something like that so you always want to roll to the to the opponent's weak side okay all right so i chose a fast low to give you an example so let's say you do a jab and then they do a low Usually you could just block it. Most people will block it, like and just do that. But sometimes if you want to really pressure them on, and especially if you got them at the wall, and you know they're probably gonna throw like a panic move, they could throw a quick low or like a poke. You could try to low parry that. And you'll get like a little small combo. So you're thinking maybe why not, you know, do a S swirl. Like a, a tornado. But the problem is they changed it where you can't do these long as low parry combos which were kind of like crazy i'm not gonna lie i took advantage of that in second seven but low parry combos were kind of crazy so it comes out for me you can do something like that um Thirty-five damage. Uh, that's a pretty good. List. So you can effectively use heat in these low parry combos, just to expand your your damage. But you can't really get big combos off of uh, low parries anymore. They they used they used to let you do it, not anymore. Like this is his usual S uh, S tornado. It doesn't S tornado, so you have to like go back to like how old Tekken's were. You gotta you gotta do some little cool little small string little combos they have in the game. But uh, yeah, man, that's my little guide right there. Just wanted to touch on a few little things for you guys. Um, if you guys want to learn any more advanced techniques or anything or have any more questions about character recommendations and all that, just let me know, man. Uh, do me a big favor. Please subscribe, like, and comment. And I will be making more Tekken 8 videos for you guys. And I hope to see you guys in the next video.